I may have gotten a little carried away since last time. I accidentally simulated all of these games. It's seven games. To be fair, we haven't done bad in them though. Hello guys and welcome back to the 50th episode of the FM21 Salford City Save where today we are halfway to 100 in our episodes that is very impressive but today we are facing Wolves and Reading in the championship we're up in ninth place right now with the potential of going all the way up to 5th place if we win this game I mean it's unlikely but you know what I mean we're definitely in and around that playoff conversation and we could even push for some automatic promotion spots if we really really started firing in some goals left right and centre but for now we are sitting pretty in ninth place and I'm not too bothered by that since last time as I said in the wee intro I have played a lot of games and we've only come away with one loss in it and it was an unlucky defeat to Nottingham Forest frustrating one I do remember us being quite all right in this game but they came away with the goal they came away with the win and aside from that we've come away with three wins three draws a couple of disappointing results in there but nothing too terrible and we're lucky to be up in ninth place at this point. So fourth place Wolves is our next opponent. I think fourth place doesn't really tell the whole story about Wolves. They've still got Bru uh, Ruben Neves, Willy Bolly. Who else do they still have? They have some class players in the squad. They've got uh, Dendorka and Davies. To be fair, they haven't kept as many people as I thought they might have. But they've got Dan James now. So... Hey, there's, there's some solid players in there. There certainly is. It's a better squad than us, but we're hoping that we can cause an upset away from home. I will certainly take a draw before this game even starts, but this is the squad that we're going with. Gassama, Bon Giovanni, Edgehill, Poigmel, Hunt, Williams, Adar, who has just signed a new contract, by the way, Bolger, Bryant, Colson, and much. And uh, unfortunately, Shved's just not been in the best of form lately, not gone with a, a goal or an assist for two games and Bon Giovanni came off the bench last game and scored the goal to get us back onto level terms in the 91st minute so I feel like it's more than fair to give him an opportunity in the squad out on that left hand side uh, we're finally bringing in Gassama back into the squad he's uh, been pushed out by Oli Shaw who scored four in five games so he's playing quite well at the moment but Gassama is certainly the player I would prefer to be starting he needs his match fitness back but for now he is going to be a pretty solid striker and hopefully he puts one into the back of the net tonight without any further ado though let's jump into it and hopefully we can come away with all three points I'm not I'm not expecting it but it could happen if you are enjoying the series so far make sure that you do like this video can we please get six likes for this uh, episode can we also get you subscribing if you are new to the channel so that you don't miss the daily-ish football manager videos and the first opportunity of the game is already coming our way it's probably not going to be our chance but for a second there it looked like it could be there through on goal and i think we're oh much coming in with a great save and we will take that i was expecting that to go into the back of the net so after two minutes to be on nil all i'm 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 thrilled to be honest Def definitely thrilled great opportunity for them early on and hopefully we can close them down a little bit more when they're on counter-attacking opportunities but after 15 minutes there's been no more shots well of course they do that just as i say it but uh only two shots that's not too bad seeming like a bland affair i'm okay with a bland affair as long as it finishes nil all i can live with it although they do have a corner now we've been in a good ball and i thought that went into the back of the net but it's gone over the bar and you know you can't tell it's a white ball it's a white goal and it sort of combines together much is playing well apparently but the rest of the squad doesn't seem to be so i'm demanding more here but they have an opportunity just before i was able to say that and they've put it into the back of the net and you have to say that is deserved they've been the better side by miles already tonight and we need to find a way back into this and i'm not sure how we're going to be able to do it considering the fact that we haven't caused a single problem for the f defense of the wolves men but yeah they've gone two nil up now so i think i think this game is already out of our reach they seem much the better side we just yeah okay we're moving to positive skipping the replay hopefully we can hold on until half time and i might do some tactical stuff oh no no i swear if it's three nil I, I don't think we could recover from three nil it's physically impossible much good save we will take that hardly a highlight in my opinion okay two nil absolutely terrible let's go gagan press it's never worked with this Squad, but we're going for it. Intensity up. 
They won't expect it. Positive mentality. Let's go. Gagan press. It's, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. Only 50 minutes on the clock. Can we get our first shot? There we go. Gagan press. It's working. It's working. We had a shot. I mean, it wasn't a highlight, but a shot's better than nothing. Maybe I should make my first tactical changes. Hunt and Gasama also playing pretty bad tonight. I think that Hunt is going to have to be the first man to come off. Craig is ready to come on. He's a very good rotated, rotation player. I think, honestly, he probably should be pushing for first team spots at this point. Maybe a little bit undeserved to not be in the first team. But uh, Gasama's on the ball right now. Okay, let's not focus on Craig. Gasama, one on one. I was hoping that would go into the back of the net, but it's not over. We've scored. Okay, boys and girls. Gasama is back on the score sheet. I was going to take him off. Bon Giovanni is coming off, actually. 6.1 rating is nowhere near good enough, especially not in this game. Edge Hill's going to move to the port, and Shved's going to go on to attack. Is the Gagan press the go way to go? I've always had success w with it in FM21 and FM20. So maybe it is the way to go for the squad, but we'll have to see what happens in the second half. I'm, I'm, I'm quickly thinking this could be our tactical approach for the year. Are we seeing another highlight? It could be their highlight. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's very likely that that goal was a fluke and the Gagan press isn't actually working. But hey, we've had three shots in this half and we had zero in the first half. So statistically speaking, we're playing better. Much has collected the ball here and I think this is a continuing highlight. Edgehill on the ball, playing it up to Gasama. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Oh, I thought that it was going to be a great chance for him to get past the goalkeeper and just tap it into the back of the net. But the chance still isn't over. Gasama's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper again. Can't get his shot away. Great defensive coverage. And uh, we're going to have to take off a dar here as he's looking quite tired. The silver can come on. And there's all our substitutions made. All of our tactical changes made. And hopefully... We can do enough to get ourselves another goal to give ourselves a point in this game. De Silva to throw the ball in. I don't think the goalkeeper's come quick enough, but eventually a defender clears it out. And this is where I think they can hit us on a counter-attack. What is going on? We've just parted like the Red Sea. But luckily our goalkeeper is there to stop it from bulging into the back of the net. Bolly comes in though. Oh, I thought that was going to be a goal. Oh, I thought that was going to be a goal too. All right, we're lucky. We're lucky to still be in this position. If we can get a goal to equalise... Make it all square. I will take it. Don't concede. Okay, there we go. We've cleared it out. Positive mentality is still the intelligent way to go, in my opinion. We're still a goal down. No point going back onto balanced. We've got to go for it. We've got to get this goal. We've got to get this draw. And if we do, it will be a very, very good result away from home. Well, James on the ball. And now, ah, oh, he's offside. I think he was offside. I think he wasn't. The good thing he missed. Okay, 13 shots to five. You have to say we definitely don't deserve to be winning this game, but I'm going to fire them up. And we're going to go attacking. Screw it. You've got to go for gold sometime. And I don't think it's going to happen as it doesn't look like there's a single chance happening. But that's not a bad result. And I tell you what, Gagan Press did well. They, di they did well. I'm going to tell them that we were unlucky tonight. We certainly were. And yeah, okay. I've got some things to think about. If, yeah, yeah. If the Tiki Taka ever fails for me, which it has been lately, might have to move to Gagan Press. Hmm. Okay. It's good to have options. Good to have options. Reading are only one spot above us in the table, so this should be a very tight clash away from home. Hopefully we can come away with at least one point. I feel like it would be a little embarrassing to get nothing from two games in this episode, but this is the squad that we're going with. But I am actually going to bring Shed, Shved sorry, back in move Edge Hill down to support. We've got Kelleher out on injury, so this man, reserve goalkeeper, coming in just for the game. Nati was upset about his game time, so I'm giving him a chance in the first team squad. And that's about it. Let's jump into it. Hopefully, we can come away with a win. And hopefully, uh, our young goalkeeper doesn't have to come on. Let's give him 94, because let's all be honest here, I'm never going to use the number 94 for anyone ever again. So... That's fine by me. Dressing room. Let's tell them we are... Yeah, let's go with that. Apparently, it motivated them. I didn't even read it before I pressed it, but it's what my assistant manager recommended, so we're going with it. Hopefully, we can see an early opportunity here today for us. Not, not for them, ideally for us. That would be very unfortunate if it was for them, but we've certainly got the Gagan press in our back pocket today. We're still using our normal tactic, 
that hey if things don't go our way I know what I can switch it up to. I don't really want to use Gagan Press this year if I don't have to, though, because it kind of takes it out of your players, and there's a lot of games in the championship season. So, yeah, I, I kind of want them mildly fit for each game. We're in on goal here, though, and each hill, oh, I thought he put it into the back of the net. That was a good shot, great pass, and a an good early warning sign to Reading that we are potentially going to be the dominant side tonight, but... We need to make sure that we actually put the ball into the back of the net. We have another opportunity now. Building out from the defence. Nati playing it into Hunt. Back into Nati. He plays it long. Great pass into Edgehill. Edgehill moving it back to Adar. And he's trying to find some options. He can't find anyone and he gives it away unfortunately. But Nati intercepts. Come on. Okay, bit of back and forth. Back and forth. All the way back to the goalkeeper. And if you have been watching this series for a while, you'll know that when we pass it back to the goalkeeper, that means we're about to score a goal. Oh, but they pass it back to the goalkeeper. I feel like that cancels it out, and I feel like no one's going to score now. Unless they're going to score. They better not score. After we pass it back to the goalkeeper, they will be emotional. They've come in with an opportunity, I think. Yeah. I think when they passed it back to the goalkeeper after we passed it back, cancels everything out, and just no one's going to score. I'm, I'm sure it's how it works. Chafe heading the ball over the bar for them, and with 30 minutes gone, it is a pretty even affair. Pretty bland affair, I'm not going to lie. Not a huge amount of shots, but... A couple of opportunities worth seeing, but yeah, nothing going on in the scoreline just yet. And we're going to tell the boys that we're disappointed with their performance, of course. Want to fire them up, motivate them for the second half, and hopefully we can see some opportunities. I feel like I've been saying hopefully quite a lot again on this episode. Yeah, might need another hopefully counter. No, no ideal. That's It's got to be something I can hopefully fix. I did, I did that one on purpose. Doesn't count, doesn't count. Colson, back to March. That means we're going to score. Edge Hill. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe this goalkeeper thing isn't leading to goals at the moment. Walker, running past and shoots just wide. I said just wide. That was miles wide. That was never going to trouble us. We're moving on to a positive mentality in the hopes of becoming a little bit more dominant than we are right now because it seems like it is the, the Reading show at the moment, not much of a Salford show. And they've almost scored that. Now nah, Gagan Press is happening. It's happening. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, custom Turkey Tucker, move on to Gag and Press. Hopefully we can, uh, I've said it again. I, I, I am being hopeful, so I'm going to, I'm giving myself it. Hopefully we do get some more opportunities here. There's an opportunity straight afterwards. That's, yeah, that stresses me. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's gone over the bar. We're all right. We're all right. Come on. Don't know who to bring on, but I feel like I should make a tactical change. Edge Hill's looking tired. That's enough for me. Uh... Shved can come in as an inside forward on attack. Bon Giovanni out on the left side, inside forward on support. That's enough for me right now. Oigmel also not having a great day at the office. Yeah, he's going to come off as well. Craig moving in there. That sounds like some good tactical stuff. Come on, let's see some opportunities. Let's get some goals. Let's get a last minute winner. I don't know if I would have taken a draw, oh, a draw before this game started. Uh, I was hoping for a win, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And based off the way that I've been playing, maybe we should be taking a draw. Four minutes of additional time goes away very quickly, and those are two bland affairs, but at least we've come away with one point from that one. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy with the performance out there. We're not settling for draws in this league. We need to start getting wins if we want to be pushing for the playoff positions, but we're certainly not out of the running at the moment. We're still three points away. We just need a few good wins. A good run and our next few games are at home so hopefully we can do that and it would have been nice if we got the wins on camera but hey that's the way the cookie crumbles we will certainly be back for i love the way i said that be back for the west Ham game and probably the peterborough game as well so only four games being simulated to compensate for the fact that i simulated seven games off camera today but that is where we are going to end this episode. Make sure that you have liked this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new around here for Daily-ish Football Manager 2021 videos. And I will see you all later.